the 2012 Honda EV Neo. The electric motorcycles are starting to conquer more and more terrain and thanks to the continuous evolution of green technologies, these types of bikes become a viable solution for those who put efficiency on the first place. Honda first established the electric motorcycle segment in 1994 and after 18 years of researches and tests the company managed to develop some interesting models. One of these models is the Honda EV Neo, a compact scooter powered by electricity. The bike uses a 2.8 kW motor and a lithium-ion battery with a range of 34 km at 30 km per hour on level ground. The regular charger takes the battery from zero charge to a full charge in approximately 3.5 hours and is a highly portable unit that fits neatly in the cargo space beneath the seat of the EV Neo. A fast charger will cut the charging time to approximately 30 minutes. Hit the jump for more information on the 2013 Honda EV Neo. Honda EV Neo Honda begins European demonstration program of zero-emission EV Neo electric scooter. Honda announced today that the EV Neo electric scooter will make its European debut. A demonstration program in conjunction with Barcelona City Council will get underway from the beginning of July 2011. EV Neo is a battery electric scooter with zero in use CO2 emissions. Representing a significant development in its EV European activities, Honda will provide Barcelona City Council with 18 EV NEOS for the period of one year. Montesa Honda, Barcelona City Council and RACC, Spain's leading automobile club will work together to carry out daily research and monitoring activities on the EV NEO's usage in Barcelona. We are delighted to bring Honda's EV technology to Europe for the first time, said Yukitoshi Fujisaka, president of Montesa Honda. Testing the EV Neo in European conditions is an important step as we develop our EV activities. A wide range of incentives exist for EVs in Barcelona and with motorcycles accounting for 30% of all vehicles in the city, Barcelona was an ideal location for this demonstration program. About EV Neo. The EV Neo is a battery electric scooter. It operates using a 2.8 kW motor and a lithium ion battery. The EV Neo has a range of 34 km at 30 km per hour on level ground. Asterisk the regular charger takes the battery from zero charge to a full charge in approximately 3.5 hours. Asterisk asterisk and is a highly portable unit that fits neatly in the cargo space beneath the seat of the EV Neo. The rapid charger fully charges the EV Neo in approximately 30 minutes asterisk asterisk. Asterisk Honda calculations based on predetermined test conditions, user results may vary based on weather, road conditions, vehicle condition and maintenance, and other parameters. Asterisk asterisk at ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. EV Neo activities in Japan. Lease sales of the EV Neo started in Japan in April 2011 with Honda expecting to sell approximately 1,000 units in the first year. The base price is 454,650 Japanese yen or approximately 4,000 euros. The EV Neo is also being used in Honda electric vehicle testing programs in Kumamoto and Saitama prefectures. These testing programs which include motorcycles, automobile and power equipment products based on electromotive technologies will help to test future forms of personal mobility and their potential in CO2 reduction. In the Kumamoto program, EV Neo scooters are rented to residents and tourists to provide feedback on their use and benefits and in Saitama they are leased to delivery companies. Concept Honda pioneered the electric motorcycle segment in 1994, when the company leased a limited number of CUVS electric scooters first-class motor-driven cycle in Japan, for engine displacements of 50cc or less to national government agencies and local government bodies in Japan. The EV Neo electric scooter was introduced in Japan, offering convenient and durable performance for deliveries and other business applications. It is an EV electric vehicle with the potential to make people's daily lives more comfortable and enjoyable. One of Honda's most famous commercial motorcycles is the Super Cub. Launched in 1958 to fulfill founder Soichiro Honda's desire to create products useful to people and the world, the Super Cub has been a worldwide customer favorite ever since. 
With the same goal of adding value to individual lives and society as a whole, Honda designed the EV Neo to leverage all the advantages an EV has to offer. The result is an electric motorcycle that offers clean, quiet performance and satisfying power in a wide range of commercial applications. Styling A motorcycle that helps people look at their familiar neighborhood in a whole new way. A fresh presence that makes the streets seem lively and fun. In harmony with the neighborhood of the future. This is the concept behind the design of the EV Neo. To realize this concept, Honda aimed to make the design both open and familiar in feel, transcending the style of the current era and the user's location. Leveraging the innovative layout made possible by its EV technology, the EV Neo is clean, simple and modern, while its fulfillment of business motorcycle requirements make it trustworthy and dependable. These five points summarize the EV Neo's design. EV System Honda has designed the EV system of the EV Neo so that riders of gasoline engine motorcycles can naturally transition to it. Basic operation is exactly the same. The rider operates the throttle, and an APS accelerator position sensor converts the degree of throttle opening into an electric signal. The PDU calculates the optimal motor output level based on the signal from the APS and information from the BMU asterisk. Then, to produce this optimal output level, the PDU sends the appropriate amount of electricity from the battery to the motor power unit. To maximize the space for people and cargo that a commercial motorcycle requires, Honda designed the power unit of the EV Neo to be compact and fit neatly among the unsprung parts of the machine. In addition, the power unit of the EV Neo offers powerful off-the-line acceleration and hill climbing performance. Powerful off-the-line acceleration and hill climbing performance for satisfying performance even in hilly areas, the EV Neo offers output of 2.8 kW, rated output 0.58 kW, equivalent to a gasoline engine motorcycle in the same class. Even when fully loaded with 30 kg of cargo, the EV Neo can smoothly start up and climb a 12 degrees incline. Charging System the charging system continuously monitors the battery charge level and temperature, adjusting optimally to changes in these parameters to charge the EV Neo simply, quickly and completely. The charger is controlled by the PDU, and its connector contains a terminal to transmit signals between the charger and the PDU, as well as a terminal to transmit electricity to the battery. The system works as follows. When the user inserts the charger connector in the vehicle and presses the start button, the PDU is activated and begins exchanging signals with the charger. Responding to information received from the BMU, the PDU sends signals to the charger to begin and stop charging. If the rapid charger is being used, the PDU also sends signals to regulate the change in charging rate during step-down charging. Responding to signals from the PDU, the charger starts and stops transmitting electricity to the battery via the connector's electrical transmission terminal. The PDU conveys the battery charge status to the EV Neo's battery remaining charge indicator, specifications. Quotes Autoblog, there will be a demonstration program in conjunction with the Barcelona City Council in which Honda will provide 18 EV NEOS for a year. Two Wheels Blog, the city of Barcelona is lending itself to a special program of testing the use of electric scooters as the Honda EV Neo scooter gets out on European city streets. Bikes, the EV Neo electric scooter was introduced in Japan, offering convenient and durable performance for deliveries and other business applications. It is an EV electric vehicle with the potential to make people's daily lives more comfortable and enjoyable. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.